Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about types of chromatin. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So first of all, what is chromatin? So actually, the material of chromosome is called chromatin, and it is made up of DNA and proteins. Now there are two types of chromatin, euchromatin and heterochromatin. So what is euchromatin? Euchromatin contains less DNA in the chromosome. Uh, actually, it is rich in gene concentration and it is transcriptionally active. That means euchromatin region contains many structural genes and you know that structural genes are ready to be transcribed. Hence, euchromatin is genetically active chromatin and it is very loosely packed form of chromatin and it takes up light stain. Now simply, euchromatin contains many structural genes and those genes need to be transcribed and in order to get transcribed, the DNA part should be loosely packed. Otherwise, the genes cannot be transcribed easily because the different proteins which are helping in the transcription process will not be able to come to the DNA and that's why the DNA part should be loosely packed in order to proceed transcription. And since it is loosely packed region, it takes up light stain. Okay, and next is heterochromatin. So heterochromatin contains more DNA and it consists of highly repetitive DNA sequences and is not transcribed. Hence heterochromatin is genetically inactive chromatin because heterochromatin does not contain structural genes. Hence the DNA part that is present in the heterochromatin is not getting transcribed. That's why it is called genetically inactive chromatin. And it is very much tightly packed. It does not contain genes. So transcription will not happen. So the DNA is very much tightly packed. And as the DNA is very much tightly packed, it takes up dark stain. You can see this image. Here, these are nucleosome structures and in case of this euchromatin, you can see the nucleosomes are placed far away from each other. But in case of heterochromatin, you can see that the nucleosomes are closely placed. Okay, now the thing is the heterochromatin is again further classified into two types constitutive heterochromatin and facultative heterochromatin. So what is constitutive heterochromatin? Now in constitutive heterochromatin, the DNA is permanently inactive and remains in the condensed state throughout the life. Here the DNA is very much tightly packed and it is found mainly in the centromere region and telomere region of chromosome. And it also contains short repeated sequences of DNA which are called satellite DNA. And next is facultative heterochromatin. So when euchromatin is converted into heterochromatin, it is called facultative heterochromatin. It is not permanently maintained in the content state. Instead, it becomes euchromatin occasionally and remains transcriptionally active. So sometimes it is in the euchromatin state and sometimes it is in the heterochromatin state. It depends. Now the example of facultative heterochromatin is X chromosome inactivation 
in final mammals. In this case, we know that one X chromosome becomes facultative heterochromatin and silenced, while the other X chromosome remains euchromatin and is expressed. If you want the PDF notes, please check the description box and the pinned comment. I hope you loved the lecture. Thank you.